Well, in this week's WeatherWise segment, we're talking fronts, cold and warm fronts specifically. Now, the term front really came into fruition as we headed past a World War I. So some Norwegian meteorologists were noticing different air masses and how they interacted with each other. And when those air masses kind of collided, well, there was quite a uproar, some violent kind of action. It reminded them of battle fronts. This is actually a World War I map of those uh, fronts of the armies kind of moving into each other. And that's where the name front actually came from from the battle fronts of those armies. So we're talking about fronts of air. So mainly what we're first going to talk about is cold front and warm fronts there. You can see the cold front is blue with the triangles and the warm front is red with the half circles. Now with a cold front, we've got cold air kind of moving in like a plow almost, kind of lifting up that warm air ahead of the system. And what that does is as warm air lifts up, it cools and condenses quite quickly. And that's when we see the more better chance for some severe storms or some heavier showers kind of sliding in through the area. Now with a warm front, the warm air not as strong as it kind of lifts up and over the cool air. Cool air is much more dense so it stays closer to the ground. Now as this warm air slowly lifts up, not as dramatically as it was with the cold front, we're going to see more of just some widespread showers, not as heavy of downpours, and of course more moisture along the ground. So we're going to see some lower lying clouds, kind of like what we've seen actually over the last 24 hours as a warm front did lift through the area. And then that cold front bringing in some clear and cooler conditions moves in on your Thursday afternoon tomorrow.